Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel and hopefully welcome back because we are on episode 3 of season 4 of Benidorm SSM. This is slightly different, right? This is took a, this is took a turn. Um, because Mel, the actor who played Mel, died before this season started, before they filmed the Christmas special. So I read that the, um, the Christmas special had to be rewritten but I'm guessing the rest of the season he'd be rewritten as well. Because this was not the way it would have went. I don't think unless, you know, unless unless um, Mel was going to lose everything as well. Because the story so far is Marge has lost everything. Mel invests in a racehorse that committed suicide. Um, he's invested in heaps of other crap that went... Um, so they've lost everything. They've lost the palace. They've lost the house. Um, so a block was in the Christmas special. So Marge is destitute. She looks like a uh, yeah, she looks like a homeless person, which I guess she is, because she was staying in a caravan. The caravan got repossessed. She has got absolutely nothing. And apparently, she owes money to a bunch gangsters, and they had a bit of a fight at the end of the last episode in Johnny Strand. Like I says, the the gangster um, wife said, I know Kung Fu, and Jana said, I know fuck you. Boom. Right? So that's, that's where we are. That's, that's, that's the story so far. Marge is back in the salon with the family because she's lost absolutely everything. So, new characters. Yes, um, Liam is new. He's um, a new character. Leslie, Les or Leslie, whichever one you prefer, is the new barman, right? Matteo's not happy with us, but Les, Les, like, hey, is the new barman that was in There's two new girls in, um, Troy is not there because someone about his dad, so Gavin has took someone he works with who is, you know, interesting. He's interesting, right? So, that's where we are up to now, right? So it's, in, it, it, it's exciting because Every season so far, so I introduced one new character, whether it was Mel, Brandy. Here we've got half a new cast. Genuinely, half of them, the main cast is new. So, very exciting. This is episode three of season four. Here we go. No, it's under the name Nori Maltby and Pauline Mahmood. Ah, yes, I remember you, the crazy lady and the fat, crazy son. That's right. Now, I... I beg your pardon. Noreen's back. Noreen's back. Do you mind? Now, what seems to be the hold up? Please, one crazy lady at a time. It's all right, we are together. One twin room under the names Maltby and Mahmood. Mahmood? I've told him once. Where is your confirmation? Look, young man, let's start as we mean to go on. Each minute you're wasting here is coming out of our holiday. Where's the manager? That's right. We want the organ donor, not oh, the monkey. Oh, you're in. Hey, why are you calling a monkey? You know what she meant. Don't be playing the racist card with me, my friend. I've just spent four years married to a Saudi. This is the first time I've been in the sun without a blanket on my head. <laughs> why is she talking in um, New Zealand? Or South African? Why is she South African? We do not have our confirmation. Oh, don't worry about that. Half the people staying here can't even spell their own surname. Why do I get the impression this holiday was not a good idea? Oh, shut up. Shut up, the Muppet. I mean, she's got swimming pool and sunshine. What more do you need? Oh, my God. This place doesn't change much, does it? It's like an Amarasa Bora film. Says Madge Baron, the bride of Frankenstein. My surname is Harvey. Sure, I've seen that woman somewhere before. That was it. She was in that programme where they all had embarrassing illnesses. Everything downstairs had collapsed. She had to wear five pair of knickers to get out the house without leaving a trail. Oh, Madge. I might have a salad today. 
You don't want out heavy when it's hot, do you? You know, it's how I am in Bend on. It's never really sunny because they film that thing in the off season. They film it when it's not busy. So the sun isn't really, it's in the winter time ish. We sat all night not mentioning it, now all morning. Not mentioning what? You're penniless, homeless, and in debt up to your <coughs> eyeballs. Your problems aren't going to go away just because we don't talk about them. Yeah. Yes, my late husband may have made a few a mistakes. Few. But don't you forget, as you sit there with a beer in one hand and a cig in the other, just how much he gave you, <laughs> I'll never ask hard. him for a penny in return. Like, makes you just learn to zip. We meet again? Yeah, funny that. What were the odds of that happening? What do you mean? I mean, we're both staying in the same hotel. Who'd have thought we'd run into each other again so soon? But it's not that big. And there's only one pool. Yeah. yeah. That's what she means, you tit. Anyway, I better go and count my flip flops. No, wait a minute. I better go and count my flip flops. I was wondering, poor guy. If you wanted to do something tonight. Depends what you had in mind. Oh, you're so beautiful. I just want to grab you. <laughs> you do realise you just said that out loud. Okay, calm down, mate. Sorry. Sometimes things just come out of my mouth. Yeah, calm. I meant like. Down. I once had this puppy. I called it Keith, and I just wanted to squeeze it and squeeze it, you know, because it was so cute. And you murdered it. And I'm assuming Keith is no longer yeah. with us. Yeah. No, he died. Amazing. There's a surprise. Squeeze his ass. No, I didn't kill him. No, 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 Keith died of old hmm. age. I was thinking about checking out a few clubs tonight. Let us know how you get on. Okay. Wondered if you fancied it. No, because it's actually us that are together. Me and Natalie. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, 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 it all makes sense now. Yeah. She's winding you up. Well, I thought you looked a bit dykey, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> no. Listen, I'm totally cool with it, because, I mean, my dad's a transvestite, so... So, let's all have a big lesbian transvestite party. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Plus, I don't really... No, no, this way. Come on, this way. Oh, hello. Your other friend not with you? No, he's had to go... Come on. She's bald, isn't she? Fucking hell. That's Noreen. She usually comes on holiday with her son, but he's obviously grown out of all that. How old was he? 40. About 46? 40. 36 in season one, mate. You texting Troy? Yes. Funny, isn't it? He's sitting by his father's deathbed and you're on holiday slapping on the factor 20 and knocking back the sangria. Yeah. What do you mean by that? I mean... I don't mean anything by it. The only reason I agreed to proceed with this holiday is because I don't know Troy's father. I would just be in the way. Yeah, absolutely. Troy hardly knows his father. It's a very difficult situation. I hear you, sister. And if I may remind you, the only reason you are on this holiday is because Troy was generous enough to let you take his place. Oh, he was. Can't do coffin. Fuck's sake, mate. New menus. Oh, ta. Just about due a nose bag. Nose bag. <laughs> what is nose bag? It's for a horse, but it's nose, I mean. What they put on a horse when he has his dinner? Ah, like bag with food for the horse. Yes. That's right. A nose bag. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? It's the energy you like. Back. Oh, yes. Fuck it. Oh, no. Yeah, Troy's already been done, mate. Troy beat you to it. Oh, sorry, love. These sunbeds belong to someone. I think we've got somebody's sunbeds. Hello, love. I'm sorry. Are these yours? There are no towels here. These are free. I've just told you they're not free. Fucking Boy, what hell. What are you doing? I've just said these are our sunbeds. Come on, let's have you. Did you just touch me? Did you just touch me? What's wrong with her? No, I never went anywhere near you. I just want our sunbeds back. Come on. Right. No. Oh. oh my God. Oh my I'm God. Not it to you. Oh my I'm God. Not giving it to you. What's going on? Again. Again. I'm not giving it to He's her. He's not giving it to her. <laughs> <laughs> one large hockey trunk and one regular witch's tit. No. They're the same size. Thank you, Leslie. How are the new cocktails? They're the same size. Down? Oh, choppy man. Regular choppy, large. Same fucking them. size. I think it's the funny names that they like, you know. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, hello. Are these seats free? Absolutely. Grab some plastic. Oh, no. Oh, God. 
It's Donald and Jacqueline. You remember Noreen? Yeah. Hello again. For the last like, four Hello. years. This is my daughter, Pauline. Pauline. Great to meet you. It's very hot. Oh, you've hit the high season, all right. Do what we do. Drink plenty of liquids and sleep in the nude. Mm -hmm. I don't think I shall be sleeping in the nude. I've seen the bedding. Oh, you sound foreign. Pauline lived in South Africa for 10 years. Now she's in Dubai, we're having this holiday to catch up before she moves back properly to the UK. Oh, lovely. Do you like it here? Not really what I've seen of it so yeah. far. Plus Donald sleepwalks as well. Oh, brilliant. We had a siesta yesterday afternoon and he stumbled out onto the balcony, still asleep, climbed over it and sat right on the edge. He was swinging backwards and forwards and you could see people down below terrified he was going to toss himself off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, I thought he was going to toss himself off. So you boys enjoying your holiday? I've been before, so it's not so much enjoying, more tolerating. Hey, you're Quite looking better all inclusive you than this, you know. He's only joking. This is his fourth time. You must be doing something yeah, exactly. right. Exactly. But you're new here. Fourth time. Oh, aye. Oh, it's me first week. They decided it was time for a bit of fresh meat. Any cheesy nibbles for you? Oh, not for me, thanks. Gavin, would you like to try Leslie's cheesy nibbles? Oddly enough, no. Mm. Gavin's on a diet. Oh, I know what you mean. I used to struggle with my weight. Used to. But for some reason, when I hit 40 last year, the weight just <laughs> fell off. And ever since then, I've been lucky enough uh, to maintain my school girl for 40 last year. Aye. <laughs> oh, look, Leslie. Nanny, I've got the money I saved up for my holidays. But it's all inclusive, so I don't really need it. Oh, I don't want your money, darling. You go and enjoy yourself, you... Jesus, how much is that? It's about 200 euros. 200 euros? The fuck Tell did you stop it? You give me that to look after, and if I see anything nice, I'll get it for you. All right. See you later. She's what by cigarettes, is she? Bitch. No. I'm off to get my hair done. Hold your horses, your mother wants a lolly. Do you not want an ice cream, Michael? I'm not bothered, I just want to get in. Yeah, well, you can only go in with a responsible adult. Oh, oh don't say that, I wanted to go in with... <laughs> oh, come on, what's the hold up? All the lollies will be out of date by the time we get to the front. No, look at the one I'm going... Oh, Jesus, her. It's fucking her. Oh, it's you, I might have guessed. Yeah. She's just using an ice cream. Is she? Oh. This is a cue. I'm at the front of it, you're at the back of it. Deal with it. Bloody hell, did she keep the receipt from the charm school? The more you're breathing down my neck, the longer it's going to take me to decide. You do understand that, don't you? She doesn't want to slush because it freezes her brain. Like Can what, you not get it? one that freezes a gob? Oh, come on. I'm not bothered about a lolly. We'll get one later. Here you go, Mum. Hey, well done. There's another shot on the car. There's another one. Look, you. <laughs> <laughs> for a drink, thank you. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, that's nice. He was a good man. That's nice. Yes, he was a good man. <sighs> I remembered your wedding on the beach. Beautiful day. Yeah. When the fat man drop kicked him from the parachute, <laughs> I thought it was all over for St. Joe Harvey then. <laughs> he was made of stern stuff. Mm. <laughs> Do you remember the morning he nearly drowned in the pool? I think this was the day before he was almost killed by an electric juicer. Yeah. He had his scrapes, I'll give you that. I mean, most lucky he lived as long and as he did. the time he was nearly barbecued when his mobility shop burned to the ground. Yeah. All right, just fuck off now. <laughs> <laughs> well, she just said, has Matteo been pumping air or something like that? Matteo's looking big. Frig off. People around here will be reminiscing about that waiter who got run over by an electric scooter. You want me to come to work dressed like this? No. You know what I mean? 
So you have not been hearing the complaints? What complaints? Mm. Some of the parents of the children, they are concerned. Mateo. Mateo. Again, you're fucking bent on me. Are you sure this just isn't you trying to have a go at him? Why would I do this? Hmm? He does all the work, I look after the bar. We are a good team. It's just a scary look he's making the little children cry. This cannot be a good thing. You little fucking snake. I had a Saturday job in a hair salon when I was at school. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I say hair salon. It was more of a beauty parlour. Well, I say beauty parlour. It was more of a massage parlour. <laughs> well, I say massage parlour. Stop. Parlor. Stop. It was more yes, of I a... think yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> Oh, come on, what's going on? Oh, bloody hell, not you again. Yeah, again. Vamos, vamos, que hay gente esperando, rápido. Tell her I'll do it in my own time. How can I tell her I don't speak the bloody lingo? I'm not ready to do it yet. Well, stand over there, then. But then I might not do it at all. Oh, for Christ's sake, you're going down a bloody slide, not being punched out of a 747. Push up. What? 747. It's an aeroplane. Oh, great. Now you make me even more nervous talking about aeroplanes. There's nothing to be nervous about. Just get out of the way. No. Yes. Yes. Just no. get out of the way. If you no. Yes, yes, no, no. You just... yes. Well, they're taking the time. Are you waiting for someone to come down this slide? Oh, heck. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It was her! She won't come down on her own! What? So you just thought you'd get in here with her? No, you ran it over me! You can push me down! Will you shut up? My knickers! I lost my knickers on the way down! And knickers! I think Damn, she look, means mate. a bikini bottom. Get out of that rubber ring now! Try it! Get out of Oh no! I can't see them, I can't see! I don't know they're into everything at that. Oh, everything, mate. Everything. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, so bad. All I'm saying is, it was a genuine misunderstanding. Yeah, all right, no problem. Now, will you just sit down and leave us alone? Yeah, I feel I owe some sort of apology to your wife. <sighs> you don't want to do that. Seriously, I feel terrible if I don't come over and speak to her. Believe me, you'll feel a hell of a lot worse if you do. Here I go. Come on, man. Let's get sat down. Is she drunk? Ross, early enough, she didn't say what for. Like she said. Marge. Just a misunderstanding. Stir it. By the way, Marge is looking well, right? Marge is a fucking glop. I wonder how she managed that. Said something about Mick being a good looking fella. You what? No, she didn't. By God, I don't know how you manage with just a knife and fork. What do you mean? You'd think you need a spoon with all the shit stirring you do. <laughs> oh, do you mind not talking about S-H-I-T? You're putting me off me curry. We met that woman at the water park. My dad got stuck in her ring. <laughs> and I ended up with the knickers on me head. <laughs> <laughs> my dad got stuck in her ring. Uh, my dad got stuck in her ring. Sorry. been asking around about what you said. About what I said? Yeah, about Leslie frightening the kiddies and that. Oh, come on. I didn't say they were frightened. Oh, come on. I just said they were confused. You see the man, a woman, and they ask their parents strange questions. I say live and let live, but it's not fair on the little children. You're right. It's too confusing. That's why we're giving the poolside bar a proper theme. What is a theme? We're making it into a drag bar, you know, with all the men dressed as women. You are not bringing more like him. No. 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 Um, Just you, miss. Just you and Leslie. What? Janie, 
No. You can't do this. I will leave. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. It's been lovely working with you. Jenny, please, I need this job. Well, then you better be in an hour early tomorrow. Why? To practice walking in your heels. Yeah. Jenny, please, no. Jenny, you can't do this. Please. Chief. <laughs> oh shit! Why does he look so fucking good? Is this like 1998 or something like this? Listen, nothing. Is this like a DJ Quick Silver or some shit like that? Hello. But listen, man. I know. You said. Twice. I can stay out with you if you want. Listen, I wasn't going to stay out, but I was going to try and lose you two at some point. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're lovely people, but you're both so fucking dull. Oh, no. <laughs> Now yeah, Paul, that was brilliant. That was fucking brilliant. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> Bring Buck Leslie. Have you got a moment? What do you want? First of all, let me just say, I can't imagine what you've been going through. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, all your problems in the spirit of all that is Benidorm. Jacqueline and I have been taking a collection from the residents of the Solana throughout the day and raised 33 euros and 40 cents. And furthermore... First of all, let me tell you, I am not destitute. I am merely between residences. Mm. My male had his problems in business, but he taught me one valuable lesson. Mm. There's more to life than money. Mel taught you that, did he? What do you think having a cliffside villa made me happy? Yes. Do you think having a jacuzzi made me happy? Yes. Do you think being able to go shopping whenever I want, not worry about the cost, made me happy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> You're talking oh, shit. Oh, yeah. None of those things made me happy. They were nice, but they didn't make me happy. Nothing does, does it, Mudge? Nothing makes happy. Well, it's not only the 34. Oh. Just go away. Why don't you give it to charity? Do you have a favourite charity, Mudge? Oh, bring the charity. You keep the money. Looking at the state of the pair of you, you obviously need it much more than I do. I'll get the name changed on the cheque in the morning. Hey, check. hey, hang on a minute. What cheque? The cash is from the collection, but I was trying to tell you, the Solana have also given a cheque for 500 euros. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Madge. This is our second holiday this year, and we're certainly feeling the pinch. <laughs> get the name changed in the morning. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh my god. Fucking hell. You're a fat twisting bastard. <laughs> They've got my money. <laughs> come here, you. Come here. Come back. Oh, oh, just have you said to the Lord. Here we go. Oh, oh, so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, always. Episode 3 of Vendor. Now, we are introducing new characters left, right, and center. This season, anyway. Um, Pauline, Pauline from South Africa is Jeff's sister and Noreen's daughter, and she's a pain in the ass, right? Absolute nightmare, absolute pain in the ass. Um, how did Mick end up in all these compromising situations, which marks Jonas suspicious? But again, the only person who's actually cheated 
who's actually done stuff with an other person is Janice. So she can take her suspicious eye and stick it somewhere else. Um, yeah, so Marge, Marge is um, getting back into the swing of things. She's got her hair done. She's still making us money. She's looking good again. Um, yeah, that episode was just, 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 I guess it was just introducing um, the character of Pauline in, in her like how how could how could Noreen have two different kids, completely different kids, right? And it says that she's been living in um, Saudi Arabia for the last four years, so maybe that's why she's sort of outspoken because she wasn't allowed to be. Maybe she was rebelling against it. But yeah, it was a good episode. That was funny. I was I was um, I was good. Uh, Leslie, but I love Leslie by the way, Lady Gaga. Like keep him on. Get her drop fat singer guy and um, anyway thank you everyone for watching liking subscribing you can subscribe down here and um, thank you if you want to join the channel as a member the link is in the description if you want to join the patreon link is in the description it's such a fun stuff <laughs> and then uh, i've got stuff to do so i will i'll catch you in the next one thank you